by the Spirit of God, I am healed. I am delivered. I am free. My mind is guarded. I take heed to what I hear and to whom I listen to. I take heed to separate myself from the wicked. I do not sit in the seat of the scornful, but I walk in the company of the wise. I walk in the fullness of the Spirit, and the Spirit speaks through me. My words will be the words of life. My words will be the words of God. My words are spirit, and they are life. They bring life, and they provide life. My words are seasoned with grace. They bring edification to every person under the sound of my voice. I will speak that which is true, and I will speak the truth in love. I purpose myself to become love personified. I purpose myself to give ground, to give up my rights, and not to enforce my rights, and to lay down my life for others. So in the name of Jesus, I am forgiven. I am forgiven. I am forgiven. I have confessed any sin, and I am cleansed by the blood of Jesus. I am made whole. I am now righteous by the blood of Jesus Christ. His mind, his thoughts, his objectives, his plans are mine. I have laid down my life. I have laid down my life and taken up his. I take up my cross. I take up my cross every day. Every day, I take up my cross. And I recognize this, that I count myself as dead. I die to the things of the world. I die to the things of the flesh. But I am alive unto God. I am dead to sin. Sin is not my friend. It is my enemy. It is not to be coddled. It is to be resisted. Even unto blood. Sin is death. It is bondage. And it is not my master. I am, uh, sorry, and I am not its servant. I am God's son. I am man's servant. And I am the devil's master. Say that again. I am God's son. I am man's servant. And I am the devil's master. He takes orders from me. I don't take orders from him. When I tell him to flee, he must flee. Wherever I encounter sickness and disease, it must go in Jesus' name. Because I am its master. All power has been given unto me. Because all power has been given unto Christ. And it is Christ in me the hope of glory. Therefore, if Jesus has all authority, all power, then I have all authority and all power. Because he said in John 16 that when the Holy Spirit comes, he will take what is mine and declare it unto me. So Father, I thank you that you have taken what was Jesus's 
and you have declared it unto me. It now belongs to me. It is my inheritance. So I receive it in Jesus' name. And I choose from this day forward to walk in authority, to walk in power, to walk in dominion, and to help others because God is in the business of helping others. I shall set them free. I shall preach to the captives. I shall heal the sick. I shall speak with new tongues. I shall cast out demons. I will be a doer of God's word. So Father, here I am. Send me. I make myself willing to be used by you, for you, and for your glory. And I say all of this in Jesus' name. And I don't mean maybe. Amen. Amen. Give God glory. Come on. Amen.